Guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capiron Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do uh, to show you the BMS uh, station or I can call this BMS trainer station. For those who are wishing to join the BMS or Building Automation System uh, field of engineering, okay? Now, guys, at this portion, this will be for my uh, motor control tutorials, okay? Because as you know, if you will become a BMS engineer or if you will be involved in controls, the first thing that you need to learn is to... Uh, how are you going to prepare a simple motor control for a motor, okay? As I said, when there is a motor, there will be always a uh, control panel, okay? So, we are calling something like MCC, Motor Control Center or Motor Control Panel, okay? Now, what I have here is a simple motor control, okay? So, this will be a baby step for an engineering graduate or any technical course graduate who are wishing to join this field or this exciting field of engineering okay now i'm shouting out to all the mechanical electrical and other uh, technical course graduates who are planning to join an MEP company okay so if you don't want to become a bms engineer you can also join a mechanical electrical and plumbing company okay so if you will be a part of that company now, all the things that I'm going to show you, you will encounter this system, okay? So, again, I have here a simple motor control, okay? As you can see, the small motor with fan is already working, okay? Now, this is already wired, okay? But if you will join my tutorial, then you will be the one to do the wiring of this, okay? So, you will start with a simple motor control, okay? So, again, you can stop it, okay? So first, you will do the power diagram, a simple power diagram. I will give you a simple power diagram drawing, direct online, okay, to 20 direct online. Then you will try to build the power diagram of this. After the power diagram or the power connections, then that's the time to do the control, okay. So what are the involved in the control? First, I have here a fuse holder. Then I have here a power indication, okay. So, meaning power is already provided in our simple motor control, okay? So, I have here the run, I have here the trip, then I have here a selector switch. Now, selector switch, because we are planning to connect this simple system in a building management system, that's why we have a selector switch, okay? Now, we can put, so this one is in automatic position, okay? Sorry, I don't have yet the labeling for the some of my indication and the selector switch okay so this is for automatic operation then for manual now for manual the operator or uh, the, the, the technician can operate the equipment okay so in automatic if we will connect this in building management system our ddc controller or something like this will be the one to operate this equipment based on our control logic program that we are going to prepare, which I'm going to teach you also, okay? So, this will be my motor control, or I can call this MCC, Motor Control Center, okay? First, for simple uh, control, simple motor control. Okay, again, I have here one, another simple motor control. Okay, let's start. Okay, again, as you can see, okay? So, after you have done the simple motor control, now that's the time you will go to this portion. Now, this portion is for uh, forward reverse, okay? Then, after forward reverse, now it's time to go to Y delta, okay? Now, I have here three contactors that can be used for Y delta. Uh, reduce voltage starting of a motor. And also, we can use it for the... Uh, forward reverse okay so these are the basic uh, motor control that need that you need to understand if you want to join the building management system uh, field of engineering okay so first simple motor control then another simple motor control okay then forward reverse this will be for my forward reverse 
Okay, using this uh, magnetic contactor and some breakers. Okay, now uh, for forward reverse and uh, Y delta, you need a three phase power supply. Okay, so as you know, I don't have three phase power supply here. So I will just try to simulate the operation or the control. Okay, now at the bottom is my motor uh, connection. Okay, so I am we will be using here a six, six leads. Uh, AC motor, induction motor, okay? So, all these things, you will be able to learn this in the motor control tutorials, okay? Now, let me move at this side. Now, at this side, I also have here a simple motor control, okay? Now, this uh, motor control, I'll be using this in uh, script programming, okay? Because you are going to connect this simple motor control and do the script programming for this simple system okay for two fans okay we can say this is an exhaust fan okay now let me move at the ra at the other side okay now at this side i have here my io modules okay so here we can do some simulation of hvac equipment like air handling unit okay so let me move at the front okay so this is the front wherein you will do some Simulation for air handling unit. This is my valve actuator. I have here my automation server. Now, this automation server is the one that is responsible in communicating with my backnet controllers, which I will be showing you later. Okay, so I'm just doing this. Uh, I just want to show you the one I prepared for those engineers or engineering graduates who are wishing to join my tutorial in building management system now it here i have here my okay let me where is my what, what's happened to my mouse okay so i will try to log in so that you will be able to see my uh, system okay so you will be using this system actually this is an old version of snyder okay so what you are going to do is to do all the tutorials here okay so if you are following my uh, youtube channel you can always see what i'm trying to show all those who are interested in bms or building automation okay so this will be the main uh, or my workstation connected to my automation server wherein you will do some graphics creation you will do some uh, control programming using functional block, okay, and script programming. In my automation server, you can do functional block programming using the same motor control for two fans, okay. Now, for my backnet controllers, I have three backnet controllers here. For these backnet controllers, you can only do control logic programming using script programming, okay. So, I will be preparing a tutorial for this, okay? Then, I have here, again, another, uh, ah, here. This is another backnet controller, okay? So, backnet controllers, these are connected to my automation server. So, my automation server is the one communicating to the uh, backnet controllers through this MSTP network, okay? So, I am using an RS485 cable. Then, by communication A, port A on port B, so I have connected my three uh, backnet controllers here, okay? So, you just, just need to follow the correct polarity, okay? So, my three backnet controllers are connected in a uh, bus topology or daisy chain connection okay so i'm using a uh, backnet mstp network for the three backnet controllers okay then my io modules are connected through this cable okay so that is my io bus okay so my io bus so i have here my io i have several io here okay so these ios are more than enough to do several control logic programming for different system okay so this will be my new setup for those who are wishing to join my tutorial okay once again santos Cabrera jr will always end the tutorial by saying god bless us all and if you are new to my channel please 
support the channel by subscribing you can also put your comment like and of course you can hit the notification bell so you will be notified for new uh, video if it will be uploaded in my channel again thank you and god bless us all and bye for now